I'm Adam Mattis. And I'm Peter Martin. And you're listening to the You'll Hear It podcast. Daily jazz advice and occasional solo analysis it coming is, at you. It is Wednesday, and uh, you're listening to right now uh, Christian McBride's New John, a uh, brand new album, and this is the track Pier One Import, which is a hilarious name <laughs> for, for a song. Love the store, love the song. <laughs> Uh, but Christian takes a great bass solo on this track, and uh, I thought we could check it out. He's nice. We're doing this mostly because he's um, literally right next door to us. Yes, uh, playing concerts all week here at uh, Jazz St. Louis, and uh, thought it'd be cool. Yep. Uh, we I don't think we've done a bass solo yet. No, I don't think so. so. Yeah, let's get into it. Okay. So as you could hear, the tune itself, kind of a modalish, yeah, you know, raucous. Yeah. Would yeah. they ever play this in a Pier 1 import store? Never. <laughs> no, it's way too... Do those still uh, exist, by the way? No. Oh, they don't. There <laughs> might be one, actually, in, like, Sunset Hills. Oh, okay. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, anyway, let's check out this solo here. We're going to cut to the end of saxophone solo. Here we go. One of the reasons why okay. why I wanted to uh, pick this solo this week is because uh, I really love that it's a bass solo, but none of the energy gets lost. In yes. fact, they still do all the horn backgrounds. The drummer is still playing with sticks and still playing uh, the groove just, you know, with the same intensity as the other solos. And of course, you know, it's that's easy to do when Christian can play a, a basically a saxophone solo <laughs> right, right. Over, over it. Um, but, you know, the, the language here, the modern language that he plays, I mean, we always think of McBride as like, you know, he's got that bluesy sound and he can really get down. And that happens on this, this album a little bit. But this is a great example of, I think, modern jazz language that he has and can, can do with his facility better than almost anybody. I mean, it's just incredible. Yeah. And I mean, I think, you know, the, this point of the energy being there during the bass solo, <clears throat> it's such a pet peeve of mine. When that doesn't happen, um, because you're already losing the foundation and the energy of the actual bass line right. or, or whatever that is happening there. So when, when you lose that from the other instruments, it's just uh, debilitating kind of to the groove. Totally. And so, you know, I think Christian's I, certainly in this solo, and, and, and I've heard him solo in a lot of different kind of situations, he does such a great job of like bringing the energy and bringing a certain amount it's almost like he's imagining what's happening with the bass line that isn't there and right. still and playing in a way like he's playing over on top of but that. But then as a listener, he puts that in your head because yeah. you don't feel that lack of anything. You know what I mean? Yeah, and it's just like one of those things, you know, like even we talk about like with solo piano playing and stuff when, you know, even if you're not walking a bass line or playing anything down there, you're hearing that and feeling that. Yeah. You're hearing that. <laughs> and... Um, and then you play in a way that you hear it and feel it in your imagination. You can actually give that to the listener. And so when everybody commits to doing that, especially from the bass chair, mm -hmm. then you you all of a sudden realize that you're not missing anything. You're not focused on that at all. I think that's uh, super important for any drummers or pianists listening out there, that keeping that intensity yeah. I mean, it's so important. And I mean, one trick for me to develop it, you know, just until it got to the point where it became sort of second nature was just really to imagine that you're hearing it, like like actually hear it in your mind, you know, um, that bass line going on. And yeah. 
obviously for a great bass player, it's a little easier to imagine that because they're used to playing it, I think. Yeah. But I mean, I think what's so striking about this solo, I mean, there, there's a bunch of things and a bunch of just really inside bass, uh, bass baseball stuff, you know, <laughs> Christian's a big baseball fan too. Yeah, yeah. But, but, you know, he starts out the solo, maybe we could even just listen to the very beginning because the way he structures the solo because the harmony's not moving that much is very important because you have to create the architecture and it's such a great shape to the solo. I was going to say that the ar architecture of the solo is just spot on. Yeah. He outlines the changes. That's the first thing he does. Yeah. And so you know what to expect. Yeah. You know, he, he sets you up so that he could take you out. Yeah. <laughs> it's and like then a hitman. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And there's an openness with no piano there that he's very attuned to uh i think the way he even plays those first phrases you know yeah. um where you know he's I, I wouldn't even say he's outlining the harmony but he's hitting at it but he's mainly just playing super thematic stuff that's kind of outlining the architecture of the form that's right let's hear it again from the beginning. That was a Simpsons quote. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's just a lot of just just extreme clarity to what he's playing. Yeah. You know, and confidence in terms of like each each one of the lines, and then he's getting into like a longer continuous line very quickly yeah you know but i think part of that too is like listening because the horn lines come in and it starts out as like background lines but then you know pretty quickly those become counterpoint yeah single line things in the in themselves it kind of devolves quickly so it's like christian has structured the solo in a way that's almost foreshadowing i think of that yeah you i mean whether he thought about that or not i don't know it's just kind of like a musical cohesion there that's that's great he's the hitman he's setting you up to knock you down <laughs> exactly <laughs> That little jumping down to, you know, the actual bass register. I mean, this is very high up on the G string and stuff. And then, yeah. boom. I'm know. a sucker. For, I, I, it's a good thing I don't play bass because I would totally overuse that. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm yeah. a sucker for that. It's good stuff. Uh. But he's, he remains, like, very melodic when he goes down to the bottom register of the bass. Some bass players, like, revert to just, like, pedal tones and stuff. Like, he keeps the cohesion going. Huh. He totally set that up, yeah, and totally set up that end the, the end of that solo in such a brilliant way. It was almost like a drum fill at the end of the solo at the bass. Yeah, though, at the know? bass, totally. Yeah, I yeah. mean, but you can do that on the bass. I think yep. this is really a, a testament too to the the power of sound and the yep. clarity of his sound, and how on the bass it's extremely important because he can get away with stuff that because of how good it sounds you know yep. and how clear it is that maybe some other players can't and i mean i love the way christian adjusts his playing i mean not just in the solo but with this with this relatively new group the new john without piano he uh i mean i think there's adjustments that everybody makes certainly drums and and, and the horns but from the bass chair he really makes those necessary small subtle musical adjustments to there not being a piano there yeah. where it doesn't I mean, I mean i hate to even say this but for us as pianists i'm like you always miss the piano of course. but actually you don't and a lot of that is be kind of the way that christian's playing not only on the solos but the way he kind of structured this whole band and it's a very organic approach to taking away an instrument without totally stylistically devolving into something else well and it's also a great lesson just because even if there were a piano in this band uh, would it be better if they were playing little clusters around what he's doing? Maybe not. No. Maybe we don't have to arrange ourselves into every single moment. You know what right. I mean? It's, it's right. a lesson for pianists too that like sometimes it's okay to just not play because it can be yeah it can be very very effective. Yeah, and I mean Christian is definitely the kind of bass player that, given a little bit more space without the piano comping, you can um, you know the clarity of his ideas and 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 the the kind of um, you know evolution of how he hears lines within the harmony and then kind of develops them really you know melodically with subtle little things i mean yeah 
you can hear that when the piano's comping too, but he's making just enough adjustments to make it even more interesting when you can kind of draw your ear in. And this kind of a group, you know, with a lot of kind of piano lists or drum lists, whenever you take one instrument out of a situation that seems to be typically there, it's um, it's an opportunity to make some, not to redo everything, but to kind of, you know, rethink in little subtle ways and interesting ways. Like how, how are we going to place in those elements that normally the piano would do it without imitating it? Like, yeah. and it comes from different places in interesting ways. Yeah, man, that's really, really good stuff. Yeah. So this is like one of those I bass solos is what we're saying. <laughs> just to summarize. It's just, it's just okay. <laughs> that's as good as a bass solo can be. Right. Okay, I just got a text from Christian McBride. He must hear us talking about ah, it. <laughs> his nose is itching. Oh, man. That's great. Um, so cool. Yeah. Um, so definitely check, I mean, check this album out. It's, it's a great record. And the good thing about this is they're touring pretty heavy right now. That's right. So uh, if they're coming to a town near you, go check them out. Yeah. Christian McBride, the new John. Yeah, and if you want to have on a Mac little, Avenue Records, right? Yeah, on yeah. Mac Avenue. If you want to have a little discussion about this solo analysis or uh, bass solos in general, where are they going? They're going to youtube.com slash open studio network. And um, you can see this episode there and, and join us in the comments. Um, Adam and I are committing. Are we committing? Yeah, we're, we're going to try to really check in there. We've already want, put it out there. Yeah, no, I want to talk to folks, see what they have to say. But that, that'll be a nice place for us to do it in the comments Absolutely. there. Absolutely. YouTube. Cool. Well, until then, you'll hear it.